Hey, welcome back. Hope everybody is having a great Monday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, guys, as you can see, we're not talking about Masters of the Universe. We're talking about Conan the Barbarian, the Bloody War Paint variant, okay? Now, when I first saw this, you know, I had to get him. I believe he was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive or came out roughly the same time. And this is from Super 7. And as we know, as, as collectors, Super, Super 7 is no stranger to the Masters of the Universe line. So I had to get Conan here. He looks absolutely amazing. I'm getting those 80s vibes when I look at this figure. So we're going to review him and unbox him today on the channel, okay? Now, of course, as you know, Conan the Barbarian, the movie... Um, you know, if you have seen the movie, um, yeah, I'm sure you have, it came out a long time ago, <laughs> years and years ago. Um, you know, Conan is looking for revenge for the, the snake men, or clan, that, you know, pretty much wiped out his entire family, you know, his whole, you know, race, or not race, but his family, I guess. And so, and in talking about snake men, you know, where, where the origins line is very, very heavily set in the snake men, uh, universe right now. With all the Snake Men, and of course the Serpent's Lair, and so forth. So I thought Conan here would be a great addition to my collection, you know, for the Snake Men. Fighting along He-Man, um, with, you know, against King Hiss, and, you know, Lady Slither, and so forth, alright? So, we're going to take a look at him, you know, in the packaging real fast. Look at him, he looks beautiful, by the way. Um, and then we'll compare him to, uh, uh, you know, one of my 80s versions, my Tricops here. You can see the, the similar styles, and see the same height and stuff like that. And have a lot of fun, all right? Now, of course, if you are new to my channel or first time watching, I hope you will subscribe afterwards. I hope you'll hit that like button. And thank you for doing that. It means a lot. Hit that notification bell when you upload new videos. And please share this video. Who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe or occasionally Conan the Barbarian, all right? So here we go. Okay, so you have a dog collectible there. You have Conan right there, the Barbarian, beautiful, like, I love the fire, right there, it's amazing right there, the bloody war paint Conan right there, there he is, there's old Conan, there's old Arnie right there, looks absolutely amazing right there, like I said, I'm getting those 80s vibes, you know, of course, you know, Super 7 gave us some great figures as well, you know, back in the day, and I think they were kind of one of the first ones to give us more of that, that, that cart like how the cartoon collection is now for the Origins line, Giving us that filmation style figures, you know, with their uh, line of Masters of the Universe figures. But I love the the the, the, the blood splatter all over Conan here. All right, we got Super Seven right there. Now in the back, we got some beautiful artwork right there, Arnie right there. Right there, and there is I think his name is uh, Tulsa Doom in the movie. Of course, that's James Earl Jones right there, the voice of Darth Vader right there. And like King Hiss, he can transform himself into a snake. If you're not, I'm sure you have seen the movie, but anybody who hasn't, um, yeah, he, he does transform into a snake. This is a very, very dark, very rated R movie. Um, uh, now, the second movie, the Conan the Destroyer movie that came out afterwards, was more toned down. You know, I, I had more of a, uh, it was more for, I think, like a PG-13 rating. It had more comedy, more humor involved. With this one, it was very bloody. Um, you know, very violent movie, but absolutely amazing. And and look at that. Look at Arnie right there. It looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous right there. Sword right there. His, in a way, you know, his sword right there. He, he, he does become king, like you know, like he man of Prince Adam. Super Seven logo. Got Conan the Barbarian right there. Some some warnings and some all kind of good stuff right there. All right. Without further ado. Let's go ahead and box Conan here. All right. So there is the packaging right there. All right. Oh, very nice. Woo, it's got that, that new car smell. Like that nice, really f f um, fresh plastic smell when he came out of the packaging. And no tie downs, which is nice. Wow, that's really nice. Having to, you know, get your knife down there without damaging your figure or your scissors. To try to get in there and to snap the you know the plastics off, uh, but there's no tie downs, which is beautiful. Look at it; it looks great right there. Oh, and get this sword here. Pops right out. There is his his version of his sword right here with the blood spattered right there. It looks great. Wow, look at him. Look at the detail of Arnie here. It looks amazing. The necklace is movable, but. Now the head, you can twist the head, but very little, okay, because because of, of the length of the hair. But like, but unfortunately, 
like the vintage style figures, you know, um, you know, like this is not Origins basically, so you cannot pop the arms off, you can't pop them from the waist. You can't put He Man's mug or or even uh, Wondar. He's got that Wondar feel to him, you know, like you know that that's perfect, you know, you know, having like like Wonder, you know, like you know, in a battle, you know, this is his result right here, taking on the, the Snake Men. All right, I'm giving I'm giving that Wondar feel here in this figure here, with the brown hair and you know this the darker. The darker skin tone, it, it looks great. I love the soft, good fabric. Um, um, you know, um, cloak here or, or just um, outfit right here. Blood everywhere. Now, it would have been kind of nice if the boots themselves were kind of uh, flocked or furred and stuff like that. But he looks great. Now, standing him, let's see if I can get him. So, there, there's the standard, you know, 80s version. Let's see if I can get him standing up here. Let's get old Arnie starting right here. Right here, right here. Right. So let's get this guy right here. Oops. So, so just about the same height, you know, about five inches tall, you know, from a, a standard version of the uh, original 80s line of He-Man right there. But looks, but looks really good. I cannot wait. I'm hoping there's more of, of these figures like this, you know, in the line. Get Tulsa Doom. Um, I don't remember like much. I mean, I've seen the movie, you know, quite a bit, but I can't remember the names of his allies. The magician he helps him out. You know, there's magic involved. There's sorcery. You know, of course. You know, there's snake men and there's thieves and so I mean, like everything, everything beautifully done. Let me. I'm gonna pause this real fast, everybody. I'm gonna try to get his sword into his hands. Okay, give me one second, guys. Hang on. All right, everybody. There we go. Got him. His sword right there. That he found. Let's see if you can twist it. Need it. All right. So you cannot twist the hands. I don't think. Yeah. Well. No. Nope, you can't twist the hands. But you can twist at the waist. You know, like your standard. You know, like Master of the Universe figure. You know, from the '80s, which I absolutely love, right there. And there he is. He looks amazing, right there. Let's go ahead and turn the turntable on. Incredible. Look at that. What a, for me, it's a perfect addition to my Snake Man collection. You know, like I said, fighting along He-Man, you know, taking on the Snake Man. And I hope we get that, you know. I'll keep an eye out, you know. Maybe it is there. I just got to keep it. Maybe look for it. Um, that Tulsa Doom Snake Man, you know, the leader of the Snake Man. And I can have him fighting along King Hiss. And speaking of Snake Man, I got a few Snake Men here. I'm going to go ahead and, there you go, this, you know. I got oops! I got Rattler here. He's like taking out one of the Snake Men guys. Oops! He might fall. Hang on. But there you go. Look at that. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. And I also have my one of my you know turning in Palace Guards right there. I'm about to take on Conan right there. What a great addition! You know, amazing detail. He looks amazing, you know. They captured the the likeness of Arnie or Arnold Schwarzenegger very good right there. And like I said, I'm getting that Wondar vibes when I look at this version right here of Conan here, you know. That you know, that Wondar went under, you know, um into the Snake Men, you know, lair and you know came out bloody, you know, to maybe rescue He Man or Tila, you know. But what a what a great, great uh version right there. So let me know in your comments below, you know, what your thoughts and feelings of, 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 of Conan here, you know. Uh, the, neck, the necklace, is you can move the necklace, but you can't remove it from the figure because the head does not pop off, unfortunately. But like I said, the detail looks incredible. I'm turning my light on here. So I'm making... I don't know. Hope that's better, guys. But what a great, great right there figure right there. Like I said, I'm getting those 80s vibes right there. And like to me, like, you know, when, you know, before the 87 movie came out with Dolph Lundgren, you know... To me, this is kind of like, you know, my version of He-Man in a way. So, you know, I mean, sword and sorcery and stuff like that, without the science, unfortunately. But, you know, Arnie would have been a great He-Man, you know, um, you know, back in the day when he was in his prime. You know, he looked amazing. And he had that physique, you know, that He-Man, we all know and love for He-Man. And Conan was probably the closest to it, you know. Um, so, and he also became king, you know, at one point. Um, in the uh, story after the, the um, uh, Destroyer, Conan the Destroyer, uh, he, did, he did become king, but they never told that story. 
of, of that of Conan right there. I think there was another Conan movie with um, Jason Momoa. Um, I don't remember that movie too much. But there you go, guys. Uh, something a little different, something unique in this channel here. You Normally, know, we do Master Universe, but you know, but you know, Conan to me is like a like a He Man esque figure um, in this, you know, in, in a perfect fit for this rise of the Snake Man line that keeps continuing. And so I'm going to keep him. I'm going to put him with my, you know, with the Serpent Slayer once we get that announced, and hopefully, I can hopefully get. Um, you know, and, or even the, uh, Snake Mountain. I mean, that's another, you know, great, you know, uh, stronghold for the Snake Men. If you don't remember, the, like, the 2000X cartoon, the, the Snake Men were, you know, in the, in the bowels of the, of the, um, Snake Mountain. You know, that was once their, their stronghold, you know, so, or, or their place back in the day. So, you can always put, you know, this version of Conan, you know, at Snake Mountain. All right, but there you go, guys. There's a quick little look of Conan the Barbarian, the bloody uh, war paint or bloody variants right there. Like I said, it looks amazing. It looks really, really good. Back of him right there once again. I love, I love the, 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 the blood on the sword right there. Once again, the necklace, is, it's, it's movable. It's, you can move it around, but you can't, unfortunately, can't take it off, unfortunately. But there you go, guys. So let me know in the comments below what you think about old Conan here, you know. All right. I'd like to take the time now, of course, to thank my subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you guys also hit that notification bell when you upload new videos. And tomorrow, man, I'm thinking about doing, you know, it's all things Master of the Universe. Man, I don't know. There's so many figures. Like, I want to do a... A full video of every version of, of Trapjaw, because there's so many versions of Trapjaw in this universe, my god. Only guy don't, I mean, from Origins to Master, Masterverse and CGI alone, there's, I mean, good grief. I got, you know, and we, I mean, oh man. So I might do a, a video on Tuesday of every version of Trapjaw, or maybe, or, you know, on the channel, you know. So I hope you guys will join me for that, alright? And I, of course, I am always on, you know, on the hunt for new figures. New releases, like you guys, I'm waiting very patiently for some pre-orders to hopefully come in very soon, you know, to, you know, to unbox, to review on the channel. It's just playing that waiting game. Guys, we know that Walmart and Target, I believe, are doing a full reset for the fall. So hopefully we're getting some new figures as well, you know, from the retail stores. Um, you know, like Wave like 4 of the Turtles of Grayskull line, um, the Cartoon Collection, hopefully we'll get... Uh, out very very soon all right so i hope you guys have a great monday and i'll see you guys on tuesday take care and have a good one everybody